Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. For most of us, the map module in Lightroom is really pretty useless. There probably are a few of you, though, that are lucky enough to have a camera that has GPS built in, or you have an accessory that will allow GPS information to get recorded to the RAW file as you take images. If you're one of those lucky people, when you open up the map module and click on an image, you'll find the location of that image uh, being displayed on the map. Well, there is a solution for the rest of us, those of us that are using cameras that do not have GPS built in. That is, you could get an app. There's dozens of apps out there for your smartphone. And all you need to do is sync the time of your phone with the time in your camera, then enable the app and start walking around and taking photos. Then that app, when you're done, will create a file that has all that GPS info in it. And then you use Lightroom to sync that file up to your images because as you take images, the time gets recorded that you took that image. So that's why you're syncing the time of the camera to the time of your phone. Then when you sync that all up, your images will show up on the map. Now, earlier today, I went out and took some uh, pictures of a little lake near where I live. Unfortunately, it was a horrible day for taking photos. The light was horrible, but for this demonstration, it will work. And what I did is I used an app uh, called Geotag Photos Pro. I don't have any affiliation with this company at all. You could find them at geotagphotos.net. Um, they have the app is available for iOS and Android, and it seemed to work fine uh, the little bit that I did use it. So I'll have a link to that in the description below this video. So what I did was I went out, I enabled the app. First of all, I synced the time, and then I enabled the app, and then I walked around and took some pictures, then I ended my session. And what it does, does it will save the file of your uh, GPS info to a location of your choosing. It has a lot of different cloud services available. One of them was Dropbox. So I just saved it to Dropbox. And then I took it off Dropbox and I have it here on the desktop of my computer. So I imported the images into Lightroom. When I imported them, I also put them in a collection that I called Hoyt Lake. And there's only 19 images. As I mentioned, it was not a very good light day for taking photos. Uh, so. I have these 19 images here, but you can see as I click on them, uh, no GPS info is showing over here and it's not showing up on the map. So I need to first load my path that I walked. To do that, go to this little squiggly line that is in the toolbar of the map module. Now, if you're not seeing the toolbar, hit the T key. The T key makes the turn, uh, toolbar go away and come back. And if you're not seeing that little squiggly line, just go over here to this little triangle, click on that, and make sure that track logs is checked. So we're going to go there, and we're going to go load tracking. So we're just going to click on that, and then we're going to go right to that file. It's on my desktop, and we'll click choose. And when I do that, the map will zoom in, and it shows my path. Um, you can see I, I started the app right here. I started walking around. Now, I didn't go out in the middle of water, but there were a lot of trees, and sometimes I was under trees and maybe my GPS on my phone uh, was off. So I didn't walk in the middle of water, um, but I don't have that superpower. But I did uh, walk around and took uh, 19 images, and then I went back to my car. So there's the path. Now we still have to sync up that path to the images. So I have the images down here in the film strip. I'm just going to uh, select them all. I have the first one selected. Just hit Command or Control A to select them all. So they're all selected. Go back to our squiggly line here, and then go down to this part here, auto tag 19 selected photos, all right? And as soon as I do that, it will populate my path with the images where I took them. Now, as you could see, um, they're all there. If I hover over any of those little flags, you'll get a preview of that image. And in this case, I took three images here. So there's a little like arrow so I could go through all three images. And you can see there's one there that I took and so on. So I could just hover and see the images. Now, if I want to click on an image, you'll see that that GPS info is now loaded into the metadata. So it is there. Now, this is actually the first time this ever happened for me where the path 
is really off. It has me in water. Um, hopefully that isn't uh, something that happens to you. And I've done this several times and I've actually done two videos on this over the years in the past and my, um, you know, how to use Lightroom videos that I've done. Um, and I've never had this happen. So what you could do though, is you could move these around. First of all, make sure this padlock is unlocked. Uh, if it's locked, you won't be able to move the little uh, tags around. And what I know is this image here, um, there's a little bridge that you can't see that I walked under and came around. And then I was over here, like where I took my first photo. So when I was over there. So what we'll do is it's kind of screwing up, but we'll grab that and we're just going to drag it like over there like that, because I was shooting over the bushes at that. And this one here, like that, I probably took this one more over here, like that. So you could move them around, see how it doubled up with that, but that's all right. So you could move them. Um, now, if you want to make sure that you don't accidentally move them because you want to manipulate the map and drag the map around, just lock that padlock and it's locked. So you won't then be able to move them at all. So you're just moving the map when you click on it. So you can come in and touch it up uh, where it was because you could hover over it, see where it was shot. In this case, I was on the pedestrian bridge, which you um, can't see. It's kind of hidden. But I was under this pedestrian bridge there walking over the water where I took that shot. So um, it's actually very easy to do. There's dozens of these apps. You don't have to get GeoTag Photos Pro. Um, you could get, you know, any app you find in uh, the App Store or in the Android Marketplace. So that's it for this video. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.